This is Rich, Tennessee Homestead. How the heck are you? I got a topic I need to talk to you about today that is not the norm, okay? Although I am talking about the Nova virus. But I think there's a lot more going into this. As you know, uh, about a week or so ago, uh, I had put out a, a video about uh, uh, what, what statuses and so forth was. And so I had checked Tennessee's uh, deaths and so forth uh, so that I had current information. Now, in that process, we was at 640, which was up from the last time I checked, which was a few weeks prior to that. Cases were up a little bit, not a lot. That's what I reported, 640. Got kind of curious because I the, the CDC doesn't have the uh, normal influenza pneumonia mix figures out there anymore. So, yeah, I got to go through the state records. Suddenly, now we have jumped up in about a week's time to over a thousand deaths. I could check county by county, and I found an uptick in, in uh, a couple of counties, uh, primarily like Nashville area. It ticked up, things of this nature. You got to understand, a small county that I'm in, uh, most of the people that live in this area work in Montgomery County or the Clarksville area. It had a small uptick. This county is still showing the same numbers. Same number of cases, same number of deaths, zero. But statewide, we jumped up in about a week, week and a half's time, uh, four or five hundred people. Well, that got me curious. <laughs> okay. So then I really started digging around. Uh, there isn't any information out there about the normal influenza that the state usually has. Cause, and those have all but disappeared. Yeah, they have all but disappeared out there from the CDC. So, here a few days back, I'm watching a video from a group that I like watching. And uh, they, uh, common, they're just common sense, but they're out of California. But they did one on what they're seeing. With that one I'd put up about the doctors and so forth of everything and it's up you know, where they're padding the numbers. You know me, I'm going to get to the point of going, where are they padding the numbers? And I got, I got to warn you, I, I do think that in a lot of states you're going to see lockdowns. I mean, for heaven's sakes, in uh, Kentucky, uh, they had had articles and so forth where people have been put under house arrest with ankle bracelets and house arrest because they test positive. They haven't quite went as far as Red China yet with welding your door shut, but I'm sure that's coming. But I, I kind of stepped back and said, still didn't have the question answered of why. And now I'm watching all this stuff with, uh, there probably is going to be no debates. There is probably uh, a lot of states are fighting for this mail-in primarily blue states, are wanting this, this thing. Now, it's okay for 2,000 people to get out in the street together and protest, but it's not okay to go out to the polls and vote. you got to have this mail-in. Well, that mail-in vote is going to be corrupt, and everybody knows it. Uh, and it's going to also take forever to get the results. So I look at, okay, so we're, we're going to panic the public now with these inflated numbers to try to jump up and say, oh, you can't go to the polls. You're going to have to mail vote. No, folks, it is getting to the point to where, and that makes me think that the communist, I mean the Democratic Party, is nervous about this election. Because I think they understand that their world's going to come crashing down around them if President Trump wins re-election, or they lose control of the House. So they are trying to set up for an election that is going to be ripe with fraud, an um, election like we've never had here in this country before, mail-in. And they're already, before any of this talk even got going, the Democrats were talking about, you know, if Trump refuses to step down because of illegitimate election results. Why would he do that? Well, if it's nothing but mail-in stuff in most states, there's grounds for him to go no. So there is some legitimacy for 
postponing this election. It really is. And might be the way for him to go. Just say until we're through the COVID thing and have a vaccine and so forth in place. No. I would hate to see that because the Democrats would make hay with that. There's something afoot here. Okay. Uh, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just being overly suspicious. But something just doesn't smell right about all this. I, I told you a while back, I was a little bit befuddled, you might say, about the changes in the CDC websites and some of the numbers that were coming out. Here in Tennessee, I'm now seeing to where we had almost a 50% jump in deaths in a week and a half, two weeks, period, in a state that has been pretty mild with it. So I think what they're doing at this point is they're trying to dump any anything that they can reasonably call, call for plausible deniability if they get caught into the COVID uh, numbers. Something wrong there. Why? Okay, can't find a smoking gun yet, but why? There's something not right here. Don't get me wrong. We have a normal general election where people go to the polls. There's a few absentee ballots, you know, which is a small percentage. But there you have to, as a registered voter, you have to contact the uh, election board and have them send you one, and you fill it out and mail it back. Otherwise, you have to go to the polls. But now we're having, out there in California, where they had, uh, what, now one county, 112%. Mailed out ballots more than they have people. I know in Las Vegas and, and in Nevada, their elections have been corrupted for a long time. They encourage illegal aliens to vote. California, I know, is the same way. I've heard too many people that I know that live out there who see it. I personally saw it out in Vegas during two major elections. And I think uh, some very, very harsh penalties need to be applied to not only a person that does that, but states that allow that to happen. Uh, you have to understand, in, in Nevada, you're supposed to be registered, and they mail these booklets out to registered voters. Now, if you've moved, and, and especially Las Vegas is a very transient area, uh, things of this nature... Um, they just show up. That's all you need. No other form of identification. Heavens, you don't even have to be able to speak English, which I thought was a requirement to become a citizen. Why can't these people speak English if they are U.S. citizens? I can understand green card holders. That's not a requirement for them. Become a U.S. citizen. You have to speak the language. At least enough to have general conversation. What's your name? Where do you live? Things of this nature. But yet they have to have interpreters. Can't even read the ballots. Seen it. On two beepers. Okay. You got to begin to ask yourself the question. What's going on in this election? Something's not right. Uh, seriously, if we have another 700 deaths in the state of Tennessee, uh, that's about normal, about normal for standard influenza. I'm going to provide you a link uh, to this one video. It's very interesting. It talks about Mumbai, and, and they suddenly discovered when they got in there and did some testing in the, in the slums that most of those people had already had COVID-19, okay? And the survival rate was about average, about 99.9%. They were living in the impoverished section of Mumbai, where in the more affluent areas, um, most people hadn't had it because they did the lockdown thing. I have actually heard some Democratic governors proposing a lockdown for months, several months. Yet the Democratic Party can't even put together a stimulus package to get people helped out who are really hurting out here. They really hurt a lot of people. And not only do they not want to give them any aid, they don't want to, uh, they want to do another lockdown.
Here's where my problem is with all this, folks. Democrats seem to be pushing to make the American public, putting them in between a rock and a hard place. They are trying to destroy our economy. They have already shown that they're blocked. This progressive Democratic Party has locked arms with the Marxist communists. This may be the year, folks, that if we are to remain a capitalist country, this may be it. Is a civil war possible? Yeah. It is looking more and more like it's very possible. Because when they pull this, try to steal this election to get their power, to do what they want to do, most Americans are going to say no. I'd like your input on this. I mean, seriously, I'd, you know, anybody that sees this, I want your input. Really want your input. Because from what I'm seeing, it looks like we're having a rope a dope kind of pulled on us here. And they're trying to use the fear of this disease. And folks, this disease has now proven itself time and time again to be no worse than the common flu. No worse. Have you ever panicked before over flu? Think about that for a minute. Every year, everybody gets the flu. Yeah, we do the same thing. We try to stay away from grandma. Okay. <laughs> uh, kids are going to bring it home from school. Yeah, uh, they, they found one kid that tested positive for COVID and they're having a heart attack over it. Kids will do fine with it. Matter of fact, they are the survivors of it more than anyone else. The media has been used to scare the bejeebies out of the American public. And the only ones who's listening to these talking heads from CNN and so forth are people that are siding with the Democrats. The Democratic Party is, they are getting checked full of, they call themselves socialists. But if you listen to what they're talking about, they're actually communists. And socialism always devolves into communism. If you think about it for 30 seconds, look at the chads, all of them. Hippie kids, oh, we're going to have a socialist utopia here. Yeah, how many days did that take for some strong guy to show up with a gun and go, no, I'm the boss now? That's what always happens. Always happens. Throughout history, everywhere in the world, the strong men step up with the guns and say, no, I run things now. No such thing as a communist utopia or a socialist utopia. You always end up with some communist boot on your neck. How many people died in just a matter of days there and were shot by the new leadership? Imagine that on a national scale. So I'd like to have your input on this thing. I'm going to try to edit it down to where I don't have to battle. Well, I'm not going to battle with YouTube. If they don't want to monetize this, they just aren't going to monetize it. But I'm interested in your, what you're, how you're feeling. Because from what I'm seeing and for... The state of Tennessee's death rate to double within about a week and a half, I got a problem with that. I got a real problem with that. And I've been to, making some phone calls and I can't find where that's going on. So I think what they've done is taken normal influenza cases and dumped them into this pot. When they start playing games to convince you it's far worse than what it really is, you better wake up. Better open your eyes and try to figure out what they're really up to. And I hate to say this, but I think they're getting ready to try to steal an election. Because they know they're not going to win one. Who's right to Tennessee Homestead? Like I said, I'm really interested in hearing what you're feeling. No political correctness here. We won't be judged on what your comment is really want to know what you other folks are thinking. This doesn't smell right. How do you feel about it? Talk to you real soon. Have a good one.